Hello everyone, and welcome to the short presentation from Quantpedia.com, the encyclopedia of algorithmic and quantitative trading strategies. In this presentation, you will learn, who and why writes academic research papers related to algorithmic trading and quantitative investment strategies, how do investment strategies perform after publication, and how investors use ideas out of academic research, who is producing academic research papers, most of the research is produced at academia by professors and PhDs at universities or in research institutes. The significant number of studies are published also by professionals like asset management companies or brokerage houses. Where you can find academic research. Research papers related to quantitative trading strategies can be obtained from two main sources. We can get research from paid financial journals or research companies and pay for it or we can search for research papers which are published for free. This research can be found through different sources such as Google Scholar, SSRN.com and many other specialized databases. Why would somebody publish a working trading strategy? A lot of the academics are curious, and they are doing research in the pursuit of knowledge. They want to show their bright ideas and want to let other people know about it. Also, it's a way to climb an academic career ladder, and it's a possibility to start a side business as a consultant for some hedge fund or start a fund on their own. For asset management companies, publishing working trading strategies is the way how to raise more assets. There was a substantial shift in transparency after 2008, and a lot of hedge funds publish a lot of academic research to show their expertise. It's a way how to gain the trust of pension and sovereign funds and family offices. Once published, will strategy stop working? There are multiple research papers which gives an answer to this common question. No, strategy usually doesn't vanish. Yes, there is a decrease in profitability after anomaly or strategy is published, but the returns do not weaken instantly. It's not easy to arbitrage market anomalies. Most of the anomalies have time varying returns so fair part of the return is preserved as arbitrage is not risk-free. Out of sample return of published strategies can be attractive. For example, we can take a look at a paper written by Hanlin Yang, Decomposing Factor Momentum. As we can see in the following chart, the buy and hold strategy of published anomalies is profitable. Moreover, the decrease in strategies performance could be avoided by early adopting the ideas from the working papers. Also, it is possible to rotate among multiple anomalies or factors, trying to pick the best performers and include this set of anomalies in a diversified portfolio. For example, as an inspiration, we can take a look at a paper written by Arnott, Clements, Kalesnik and Linenma, Factor Momentum. Do investors mimic, copy ideas out of academic research completely and without change? Not at all. Academic research is usually mainly a source of inspiration. In practice, every portfolio manager or investor implement ideas differently. No company uses strategies as they are described. Each investor almost always uses a different definition of factor strategies or mix them together differently to suit their needs better. If you want more follow us on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter or Instagram. And of course, look at our website canopedia.com.